Marek back into the side, a clean sheet, three points here at Accrington Stanley, a great return. Your thoughts on the match? Uh, it was absolutely unbelievable and outstanding performance from the boys. Uh, I, did, uh, I knew yesterday uh, I was travelling because H was struggling uh, I think on Thursday with his knee, so three of us was travelling and when we got to the hotel last night, Shades had just come off the coach and wasn't feeling well, so um, I would just prepare myself be ready to, to play and then he's woke up in the morning and just not feeling great, been sick again so um, spoke with Mick and, and, and Kev and he said just be ready you playing. So but I mean back to the game it was absolutely amazing performance from the boys. You know first half Colo have the courage to take the second pen and, 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 and score and then uh, two great finishes from Pale. We control the game we stick to our game plan um, and especially second half, you know, our day was really tough, hard pitch, really couldn't really pass the ball, bobbling, but we dealt with it well and then um, what can you ask for, 3-0 and clean cheap, absolutely buzzing. I mean after being out of the squad for so long it must have been nice to come back into a game like today where you've not had too much to do and been called on. Exactly, exactly, it was, you know, not much to do but really important when it, when it was needed, just come for a couple of crosses and, and just, you know, try to play from the back. But, you know, it has been a long time and, and it has been disappointed for good 15, 17 weeks. I haven't been trying with the squad, but, you know, I've been patient, I've been waiting and you never know. Now, now this, this happened, we have to wait and see what's going to happen on Tuesday. Um, Chasey has been doing an absolutely incredible job. You know, the amount of uh, clean sheet he's, he's, you know, he's been keeping and he's been uh, consistent through the season. You know, he's very tough for me. but. It, end of the day is competition and, and I'm really glad both of us performing well and especially H as well, he's been top class in training and pushing for me and Chasey so it's been working well. And uh, out there obviously it was the goals that were needed at the other end, you mentioned James Collins, mm. missed penalty early on but then he stepped up to, to take the second one and that takes real courage and determination. That to is, that is point. you know, especially like I said on that pitch, he's taking the second pen, you know, he, he's, he's had the courage and he scored and that lift the team up so much and especially them second half you control the game and Pell I mean the third the third goal was outstanding open the body and and top corner so you know all of us play a different part you know she's coming I think it's the first time he started like me since Peterborough so you know he's done an incredible job as well that's why we've got the big squad that's why we brought the players in in, in January and, and strengthen the squad because they need it we've got six seven players injured at the minute a lot long-term injury so we've got three games to go we have to do everything we can recover well and go on Tuesday and looking at the results yesterday of course that put a bit of pressure on you saw Sunderland yeah. and Portsmouth and um, Barnsley all winning to, to keep up yeah. the momentum and to after the defeat last week needing to come here for three points it was it was well needed you know we didn't want anything else we come here to win and that's what we've done you know we was watching we was traveling yesterday and watching the results and coming I was like oh my god Paulson scoring the last minute, handball, offside. But now, you know, we prove everything wrong. We've turned up on Sky and we've done an amazing job. And what, what a performance from the boys. I mean, incredible. I was going to talk about the Sky cameras because amongst the fans, there's talk that there's a bit of a curse and, you know, we haven't won too many games. I have to I've... say, all the, all the games we've played, yeah, it was, it was, I think, draws and we haven't been doing well. But today we, we you know, show up and, and won the game perfectly well. So. Over the moon. I mean, does it matter much to you when you know that the cameras are on you out there, or do, do you switch off from that? You just have game? to switch off. I, I don't worry about it. I just want to concentrate on, on my game and what I can do and help the boys through the game. And, you know, the cameras are there, the cameras are there every week, you know, so that's, that, that doesn't really bother me. And looking ahead now, Monday obviously we're not playing, but other teams are, mm. and then we've got the opportunity Tuesday. You'll be keeping an eye on the scores again. Exactly, we have, to, we have to recover well. We, we in tomorrow. Oh, everyone recover and, and, and um, Monday um, train and get, get ready for the game on Tuesday. But yeah, you know, we're hoping there's still lots of tough games. Sunderland got tough games, Portsmouth, they play against each other. You know, it's still lots of tough games they have to play away. So we're going to look, look at the results and then we go again on Tuesday and we have to do the same. And you'll be looking on a personal note, although you wouldn't have wished the illness on James, that uh, you keep your place and you can perform in front of the Kenilworth Road crowd once again. I would love to just wait and see what Mick will do. You know, I just hope Chasey will be all right. And, um, you know, all, all three of us, listen, end of the day is competition, but, but end of the day is, is 
a benefit for all of us, not just for the keepers, for the staff and for the players. So whoever plays and whoever comes comes on and performs well, that's what always matters. Thanks, Mark. Going into the game, was there any nerves? I mean, obviously, experienced player, you've played a lot, but not having played for a while, was there any nerves going into this match at all? No, to be fair, I, I was actually right because the, the previous week I had a game for the under 23s. So I've been, although I haven't been playing with the first team, I've been keeping myself fit with the under 23s. So I played three games for the last four or five weeks. And actually, it was worth it that I play. You know, the last week. Because if I haven't played, that means I haven't played for a good three weeks. And you know, it's always tough as a keeper because you're either play or you're on the bench. But when you have to, you know, you might not get this opportunity again. So when you come on, you have to do your best. And I hope I've done that today. And have you been injured at all, or is it just, just not? No, it's just it's just been. You know, the boys have been doing incredible job. I've been fit for 17, 18 weeks. Uh, Harry's been doing really well in the training. Um, and you know. For, for me, and, and it's, it's really hard to change it because you know you're on winning streak, 28 games unbeaten. So I've just been patient. It's been difficult, but now I played and see what happens end of the season. So how tough is that after being number one last season, team of the season, everything like that? Yeah. And, to, and to not yeah, play, I know. just how difficult is it? it? It was really tough, especially you know what we done and what we achieved last season. And you know, so obviously I had the hernia operation and I come back and it was okay and I sat on the bench up to the end of the year and then I had a trouble again so I had to have an injection so it was really up and down but like I said I've been fully fit for 17, 18 weeks and, and I'm just waiting for my chance and for the opportunity which it came today. Like I said, I'll see what happens these next three games. And you must have been pleased with your personal performance. You said not much to but what you did, you did, you did, you did solidly, didn't you? Yeah, it, listen, it was not a lot but important playing from the back and supporting the boys when it was needed, coming for staff, whatever is a corner or anything like that. So that, that was basically just to just relax and help the boys. And there's a chance you could go up on Tuesday if results go your way. Just, just how excited oh, about that possibility? I can't even imagine. It's, everyone is buzzing around the place. You know, everyone is together. Staff, players, all the people around us. So we just have to recover well, and do the, do the basics right and then go on Tuesday and then smash it.